During World War II, American bomber planes often returned to their military base with bullet holes. They needed better ways to protect these aircraft from getting damaged. When they plotted out the damage that these bomber planes were incurring, they could see that it was concentrated around the fuselage, the wings, and the tail. So the military guys decided to gear up each aircraft with armor, but they needed to decide where to put the armor. What do you think? They were about to make a terrible mistake by upgrading the armor in the sections with the most crosses. Why is that the case? The military's mathematician explained to the military chief that they were only looking at the damage on planes that returned to the base. They had not factored in the damage on planes that went down in action. Planes that did not return were the ones that sustained the most fatal damage. And they were mostly where the engines were. Once the engines were attacked, these aircrafts went down so that they couldn't make it home to have their damage recorded in these charts. After listening to the mathematician's logic, they decided to reinforce the armors around the engines. We have the tendency to concentrate on people or things that have made it past some selection process and overlook those that have not. We tend to forget about other important factors and we tend not to hear about their failures. This tendency is known as the survivorship bias. Not every success story follows the same plotline. Likewise, not all failures are going to lead you down the same road. Here's a short video dedicated to all students of 2020.